Hello, hello, Coach Kim here. I am glad to be here with you today, talking to you specifically about building up that inner man, that person on the inside, inner man and a woman spirit, that, that who you are that gets you up and facing the day, right? With some energy, some excitement. Sometimes, me personally, I can feel a switch go on on my inside that says, this is gonna be a great day. I want to help you to be able to turn that switch on faster because many of us can go through the day, through the routines, the getting up in the morning, brushing our teeth, drinking our coffee, getting dressed, and literally maybe two hours into the day, finally say, okay, I'm ready. How can we get to that point quicker, right? What can be some of the things, if you will look at it like a carrot on a stick, how can we shorten that stick and say, hey, I'm ready, let's go. I'm, I'm, I'm leading all of this information and this energy, some of it actually from Stephen Covey's, you know, the, the highly effective methodology for people to be effective, right? To be successful. And I'm going to just focus in on the first one today. Be proactive. Take charge. Get in the driver's seat, right? Um, lots of times we talk about what you can do to change a behavior and it deals with stopping things. Stop being a victim. Stop blaming others, right? Those are the stops. But I'm gonna focus on, on the starts. What can you do to say, you know what? It's on me. If it is to be, it's up to me. If I wanna get it done, I've gotta get it done. At the end of the day, when I look in the mirror, I've gotta say, did I do it? Did I deliver on the promises to myself? Oh my gosh. Your mind is so sharp and so so highly functional that it perceives that when you tell it something and you don't fall through, on some level, it's like a chink in your armor. It's like, ah, she, she lied about this. Ah, she, she lied. She White lie. You can call it what you want, but she did not tell the truth about this goal she said she was going to get. So in your mind, you're literally becoming untruthful. You're becoming unreliable. You're becoming not dependable. So if you are positioned in your subconscious to not depend on yourself, oh my goodness, how can you push out the imagery, right? The persona of being a dependable person when you in your mind can't even depend on yourself. So let's turn some of those things around and figure out how we can start building up, right? So I don't care how low it is, some of us have to build at the basement level, some of us have to, you know, the foundation is going deep, right? Some we got to throw some things out. We got to remove. We got to strip the wax. We got to get rid of the old stuff before we can start building on the new, right? So, let's look at that. Being proactive. First of all, I want you to understand that you do have value. Some of us have so much crapola, right, dumped onto us that literally coming into this world like a shining star, just a beam, just so bright that literally in a metaphorical world, you would have to put glasses on, sunglasses to block the, the, the brightness. But then the world just dumps on us, right? People dump on us, situations dump on us, tragedies dump on us, and that gleam starts getting lower and lower and lower and then it's just like a lump of dirt and we don't even realize what's underneath. I'm telling you that that phoenix can rise. That phoenix in your spirit, that's the inner man. That's who the calling is to. That inner man, wake up. You're worthy. Wake up. There's something in you. Wake up. You can do this. Yes, you've got what you need to succeed. Yes, don't believe, don't co-sign on the lies given to you by the world. That greatness, that's who I'm calling to. So it starts with what I said in the beginning. Discipline determines your destiny. So take something that you can do. I don't even like telling people what to do because I can have some highfalutin ideas where you like, oh, that sounds good for so-and-so of a person. And you might sound, you might get all energetic on the on this um, in this interaction we're having, but when it comes to turning it off and then actually applying it, you won't do it. So my invitation to you is to identify one or two things that you can do and that you will do. 
and be disciplined about it. Discipline, so many of you know that I'm a former military intelligence officer, so I'm, I served in the military and I understand discipline. And discipline is so phenomenal because it's like a support system. It's like a framework, right? As you exercise discipline, and then there may be a day when you don't feel like you want to fall out of the frame, the discipline will pull you back into it and it'll get you doing what you need to do. Literally, I'll say it this way, in a robotic fashion, robotic, robotic, do it, get it done, get it done, get it done, until you, there comes a point where you crave, right? You crave that behavior because it is a safety zone. You know that you are going to be um, successful within those parameters. But the discipline is the force that makes it happen from the beginning. The discipline is that get set, ready. You know that's the that's the that's the slow momentum that may may not even seem like it's moving at all, but it is. And you have to trust the process. The discipline keeps you on track. It makes you do things even when you don't feel like doing things for your good. The discipline will get the job done. And I wish this for you. Oh my gosh, discipline is, is key, it's critical. I wish that for you. When you have the discipline, it will teach you to do the things, for example, Stephen Covey, be proactive. What does that look like? Taking initiative not waiting for someone to tell you what's wrong, um, uh, to tell you, you know, that you're going down the wrong path, to see a wrong path, right, from a distance. Immaturity gets you in this in the mess. And it's like, oh my gosh, it's so dark around me. I can't, I don't know, I'm lost, I'm stuck, right? Maturity allows you to see the mess way back here and it allows you to take another route right? And to go past it. So we want to make sure that you are proactive, that you see things from a distance, that you that you play things out in your mind, right? That you see issues and you don't get stuck on the problems, but you start thinking immediately, how can I solve that? What can I do to avoid that? What can I do to help other people avoid that, right? What can I do? I Even, even I made a mistake in the past. What can I do to, to, not repeat that mistake. That's maturity. That's being proactive. That is seeing things not at the wall, but seeing around the corners. That's what I want you to do. And I think it would be satisfying to your soul. And I'm going to tell you why. Because it puts you in control. It gives you a measure of control. And that is truly why many people suffer why they are victims, right? Because they feel like they have no control. They feel like everything is coming against them and all they're doing is holding up an umbrella and bricks are falling on top of the umbrella. That's not control. That, 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 that just feels like, you know, woe is me and I can't even predict the next thing that comes my way. And I'm gonna tell you, and, and I'll close out with this. I'm gonna tell you often the next thing that comes your way. The next thing that comes your way is that which you prophesy. That which you prophesy, that which you speak out of your mouth. So I'll give you an example. So these bricks are falling on your umbrella and, and you say, golly, if, if it weren't for bad luck, I wouldn't have any luck at all. Or why do bad things always happen to me? Or um, I keep dealing with the wrong people. Why, why is that a thing? Or things never go my way. Okay, so let's just kind of put all that into one heap of, of misfortune. The challenge with that is you literally are speaking an order, like if you're at the deli, you're putting an order in. Yeah, I want some more negative people to come into my space. Yeah, bad things are coming my way. Yeah, I'm making an order for that. In my next videos, I want to specifically focus on the power of our mouth, that, that you do have life and death in your mouth, and what you speak, you literally can call, call out of the deep. So what, I'm, what I want you to focus on is literally saying, you know, with all that stuff that happened to me in the past, it happened. I'm not denying it, it happened. But those are chapters that are closed. They're chapters that are old. Matter of fact, 
back in the old days, right, we used to have encyclopedias, right? And then we might have a 12 set a volume, you know, 24 books or whatever. These things that happened in your past, they can be not only part of a previous chapter, they can be part of another volume, another way back. They are in, let, they're in book one, and now you are living in book six. Don't keep going back to book one. That's ancient history. If anything, you take those books one through five and you turn them on their side and you step on top of them and you say, that's my starting point. All they did was give me something to reach higher, to be better, to be stronger, to be wiser. So I just want to encourage you to be proactive. Think every day. How can I be better today than I was yesterday? There are some areas that I can strive in and, and, and move to the next level. What can I do better that's going to help me to be better, to have more, uh, even a higher opinion of my capabilities? That's it, my capabilities. I can be more. I can do more. I can share more. I can become more. Embrace the path of growth and you will learn to be proactive as second nature. And you will not be a blamer of situations. You'll see a problem and you'll say, how can I fix it? And you will get into the driver's seat. You'll buckle up and you'll push your, your, the pedal to the metal and you'll go for the objectives that you determine because you can be in charge. Thanks for hanging out with me today. This is Coach Kim. You know where to find me, coachkim.us for more information. I hope you have a lovely and a blessed day, and um, I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.